<laughs> Not yet. Okay. This story is a long, long time ago story. We used to be told about uh, with our uh, grand grandmothers before, and uh, I got it from the elders in my community. It's a story about the hummingbird. Hummingbird is a very small bird, and um, one day, once upon a time, in the big, big jungle, big forest in Africa, that was the biggest forest. It was the home of the people, it was the home of uh, all animals, it was the home of all creatures. And uh, they were living happily because uh, the forest could produce food for all these uh, 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 creatures living in there. One day, at the far end of the forest, there was fire. And the fire was coming and very, very, very uh, tough and consuming the forest, which is the home of all these uh, 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 animals, the people. So every animal, the people, they used, they want to take, go out to save their lives. So they were coming out. But as they were coming out, the lion saw the hummingbird <laughs> flying very fast and was flying to a stream, to a small stream of where there was water and he could pick a small, um, just a drop of food and then could fly very fast and just drop food at the, in the, uh, in the burning uh, forest. Then the lion said, what are you doing, hummingbird? You are very small, it does not make any difference. And then the hummingbird said, I know, but I'm doing the best I could. This is the best I can do to save my home. Oh, when he said that, the lion was touched and he said, oh, elephant said, oh, I know, I know. I have a very big tongue and I will go to the forest, uh, to the river and get a big drop of water and put it in the, the, in the, in the, in the burning forest. The ostrich said, I am the fastest bird and I don't fly I'll, and I know how to dance. I dance like this, <laughs> like this, like this. So he could go very fast and dip herself in water and then come and then make all the drops and then go fast. And then the people said, oh, we have to do something. We have to stop the, 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 the fire from there. So they went and just cut some of the trees, they dropped that side so they could not pass this side. So everybody was involved. Everybody did something to save the home. And eventually the, the, the forest was burned, but part of it was saved. And it again started to grow, to grow, and it was a home again for all creatures. And that is, for me, it's a very inspiring, uh, story because right now the world is on fire there is climate change there is global warming everything is melting there is fire every place and uh, i feel that i can i'm like the hummingbird i don't have much but every year i can plant uh, a tree and I use organic farming, I don't use any chemicals, and I try to protect the environment around me. That is a small drop. And also hiking, coming here to fill the trees, to fill these aspen trees and the other trees living here, I feel it's also a drop I have dropped, and we have shared this together to put a drop. And I want to say thank you so much. Thank you so much for doing this kind of work to save our planet. Thank you. Thank you, Emmanuel. Thank you.